Hi, this is Noel Manning. Uh, thanks for joining us today. We are uh, very happy right here on Meet Me at the Movies on location and also Cinema Scene to have a special guest. Uh, this guy I have known uh, since he was a young lad, a wee lad. Uh, very happy to have uh, Trey Brown. Uh, Trey Brown, uh, my cousin, I brag on this guy all the time. Uh, watch movies and anytime there are films out there that have some pretty cool special effects, I stick around. I always stick around for the credits, but always looking for your name. And man, I see him more often uh, than I realize. It's pretty crazy. So uh, Trey, Trey Brown, thanks for being being here today. Hey, yeah, no, I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's funny you should say, uh, seeing my my name in the credits, it's, I, I don't think people realize um, how much what because I guess, yeah, I, I work for Weta Digital um, that you're talking about, the special effects. And um, uh, I, I think people don't realize how many films they do. Um, I mean, if you just go to their website, you can see that they're working on, you know, so many projects. I, th I feel like they're really known for like, you know, Lord of the Rings and, and you know, Hobbit recently right, and stuff like right, that. But, right. um, uh, and Avatar as well. But then yeah. it's, you know, well, they're, they're talking about, you know, yeah, Alita they're... and stuff like that. And, and you know, they, they really are branching out and they do a lot more than than just those films. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It, it, it's pretty, pretty amazing uh, what you've been able to do and, and the career path that you've taken. And before we talk about uh, your work with Weta and, uh, and kind of the uh, special effects aspect of working with a techno director and lighting and, and other things, uh, let's mm -hmm. dive, let's go way back. Uh, you were involved in film even back when you were a kid uh, you were, yeah. your, your mom uh, had a great love for, for film. She still does. She's still involved in the industry from a writing standpoint. Yes, and, absolutely. Um, how did you get involved in doing that, that early filmmaking where you were acting in, uh, off the coast of North Carolina? Well, I mean, going back even further than the film, I, I, it was, it, you know, started in theater as it usually does. Like, um, I, I was always doing kind of musical theater and stuff like that, mainly for my mom, you know, wanting me to get involved with things and <laughs> right, stuff like that. Right, so, right. Um, yeah, I remember just doing like uh, Joseph and the Technicolor Dreamcoat and Fiddler on the Roof and that kind of stuff uh, uh, in a, I guess I was in Farmville uh, okay. where I grew up. So, so yeah. it was um, very, very small, very, very small. So, so doing, um, so doing those little community theaters is where you got yep. that taste and that love for the arts. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I was, very young, so I don't know if I, you know, <laughs> if I if I truly was cognizant of of the of the love of of you know right. acting and so it was right. more just you know oh this is kind of fun to do this yeah. is you know fun yeah. thing. um uh, but yeah no for sure and then and then that evolved yeah into into the film and television and and stuff like that and d definitely my mom was was a huge um uh, uh supporter of that and and facilitated that a lot like she was she was always going out there you know. Getting, getting me an agent and, right, and putting right. me, my name out there and stuff yeah. like that. So. so so was she, and I know your dad too, they both were really, uh, have always been encouraging to you to oh, kind absolutely. of follow your passion. And yeah. uh, even your sister has got this passion for arts now as well, mm. right? Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, so some of those, early, talk about some of those early movie and TV experiences. And if people want to get a chance to go check out uh, Trey in Action in the early years, how can they do that? <laughs> well, <laughs> I mean, well, I, I, you know, I will say not that I, you know, not that I keep up with it or, or, or try to look out for it. You know, I'm not, I'm not that, um, uh, egotistical <laughs> or, or whatnot, but I do know that, that, uh, the new tomorrow, which was the TV series that I worked on, um, when I was very young, yeah, yeah. uh, when I, yeah, first moved to New Zealand. Um, so I would have been, yeah, about 12 or 13, something right, like that. Right. Um, that is now on some kind of streaming service. I'm not. I'm not actually sure. I could look it up. Yeah. If you type in "New Tomorrow," I'm sure uh, 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 the tribe, the New Tomorrow. If you if you Google that, I'm sure you can find it. It's it's out there streaming, so you can you can actually watch that um, if you if you really want to. Um, but in terms of like early experiences, gosh, uh, in terms of filming, I yeah, I, I don't know if people realize how early and late. You end up staying like some of the earliest memories I have of working on projects, working on films and television is just like up at 5 a.m., right. you know, being in makeup for, you know, an hour. And then, you know, you're not you're not on set until, right. you know, eight. And right. so it's this huge production. You know, you go and get your costume like it's there's there's so much that goes into it. Um, 
Yeah, there's this yeah, there's this whole hurry up and wait. I mean, they really, really, yep, really yep. make you yes. spend all this time getting ready to get on set, and, and then you sit and you wait and you yes, wait and yes. you wait. Exactly, exactly. Um, and that was very bizarre as a as a child because <laughs> you know because you'd go you'd get up at five and then you just sit around you know for a few hours in your full costume and makeup and right? <laughs> these costumes weren't the the most comfortable and you know it was yeah. It was, yeah. Uh, so what? I, so did you did you enjoy acting? Is that is that something that you enjoyed doing, or did you just enjoy the experience of the entertaining aspect of doing something different? You know, it was uh, as a kid. I mean, it was it was fun. You know, so yes, I, I would say I did enjoy it. It wasn't something that, I, like I said, I wasn't cognizant of like, oh, this is a cool career path, or oh, right. this could lead to something more. It's more just like right. a you know, oh, this is you know, it's kind of fun. You know, yeah. like yeah, I, I like playing around. I like goofing off and yeah because <laughs> yeah it was kind of just just yeah, yeah just like a yeah. game almost you know like so so uh you were in north carolina uh, initially uh, as a child kind of where you grew up and mm-hmm. then um in your you said 11 12 13 in that time period you got a chance to move to new zealand yes. and that opened up uh doors of doing the uh, the tv show uh, the new tomorrow uh, the tribe and mm-hmm. um at, at what point did you realize yeah, I, I want to continue to pursue this entertainment field, but maybe not as an actor. At what point did that click with you, and when did you decide that you, what you wanted to do? Yeah, that's because uh, I, I, I didn't want to sidetrack that because I, I, I will say uh, that um, it was video games were huge, okay, okay. huge, yeah. Thing. Yeah, and that and that totally yeah. led into where I am today. I wouldn't okay. be where I am today if it wasn't for doing work on video games and stuff like that. So, okay. so, um, so talk about that work on video games. What was it you did in video games? Well, so that was yeah. I I, uh, uh, I guess I don't know. I don't want to call it my big break or, or the, the 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 most success I had. I guess uh, starting out was um, uh, for a game called Team Fortress Two. Okay, and they um, they had a, a community around. Um, making uh, uh, objects for the characters. There was, it was basically, the game had a, a cast of characters. All of them were kind of unique and they, they all had uh, different kind of personalities. And, and there was a community around making items for these characters to wear in the game. Uh, so that's very goofy, but it was, <laughs> it, it, it was, it was really fun to, to think in that kind of creative, like, uh, uh, you know, you had a very specific setting, a very specific art style. All of these things, you know, w- would carry over into what I do now. You know, it, films have a very specific setting and you're, you're just trying to, you know, fill in the world, yeah, so to speak. And yeah. um, that, was quite successful in that um, what ended up happening with that is that this small community, uh, uh, basically this, this was um, the small community was found by the, the, the people that made the game and they were like, okay, well uh, let's start putting these items into the game that then people can buy. Uh, okay. And we'll give the people that made these things a cut of the money, that kind ah, of thing. So, okay, okay. so I, I did find a bit of success in there just, you know, yeah. just in terms of, of you know, I was in high school at the time, so uh, it was very bizarre right. to just be getting checks from this game company. <laughs> when you were um, a high school kid wanting to play games, right? <laughs> exactly, exactly. Well, it was that was an extension of me playing games. It's like yeah. I play, I played a lot of that game, and then you know, after I was done playing, I'd you know spend an hour or two, you know, oh, it'd be cool if he had this hat, or if, oh, if he yeah. cool if he had this this yeah. kind of thing, you know? Yeah, and then yeah. I, you know. Just through trial and error, I, I learned to to three D model and stuff like that, so I could actually right. bring those to life. And and right. uh, as a skill that you know I still use yeah. every day today, and I, you know I continue to use in my career. So yeah, well, and, and you know some of the films, you know, we didn't get a chance to touch on this right off the bat, but but some of those films that you've had a chance to work on, you've worked with Peter Jackson and his company Weta, of course, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. and um, you mentioned uh, just uh, all of the the. Uh, Planet of the Ape films, the remakes of those, you worked on all of those. You worked yeah. on Mortal Engines. You've worked on Alita, which is the James Cameron uh, produced film with Robert Rodriguez. You just had uh, mm-hmm. an, an mm-hmm. amazing uh, body of blockbuster kind of work to be involved in. What was the first film that you got a chance to work on? with? We- was it with Weta or was it, uh, was it with another company? In terms of a big film? Yeah. Like a, like yeah. a block? It, uh, it, was, it was with Weta. It okay. was... Um, uh, the second Hobbit film. Okay. Okay. So, so, so that I, that was me. I joined Weta uh, in early 2013. Okay. And 
yeah, that was kind of the first first film I actually got to to really to work on. Um, and eventually I, I worked my way up into uh, lighting on that show. So okay. I, I did get to, to light some shots. So, so only, how, it was only a handful, so, yeah, yeah, so not yeah. much, but, but, but that was still, just my first. Well, well yeah. how did you get your foot in the door there? What was, what was the point that that door opened and you said, okay, let me stick my foot in and keep, keep it open for me? Well, so that's, that was, uh, I guess this ties back exactly to the, the, um, the game I was just talking okay. about. Um, okay. I, uh, you know, I got hired in 2013. I, you know, I went through, uh, changed departments a few times and then um, eventually ended up in the department that I'm, that I'm in or I will be going back to. Um, and uh, I, I absolutely love the department I'm in, but um, the uh, uh, years later after I got hired, I, I actually talked to the guy who hired me, who was part of the, the, um, the hiring process. And I talked to him and I'm like, you know, Oh, you know what, you know, why did, why did you hire me or what, you know, what was that? And um, he really said it was honestly, he was like, it was your work on Team Fortress Two. It was your work on that stuff. It, it, wow. It's, um, uh, you know, I, I think employers look for that initiative. That uh, okay, this person has been doing this thing for, you know, years without yeah. getting paid to do right. it. You know, right. This, right. This, they have this obvious desire to do these things to, you know, three D model or you know, texture or whatever, whatever it is. And so um, that he absolutely told me that my work on that game was a huge influence on why they hired me. Wow! So the um, work on the game plus the work ethic that you put out there, showing what you were yeah. willing and able to do. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, which I was, I was, I was pleased to hear that. <laughs> I was like, okay, I guess it wasn't, you know, it wasn't for nothing. It was, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I, I think that's a that's a pretty pretty cool thing to be able to share with uh, high school students or college students or even mm. middle school students. To when you find something that you're passionate about and something that you may be good at, you know, you you never know when you're building that portfolio. It may be happening right then. It may be exactly. happening there. I, and and you never know because it's it, like it was specifically the game that I worked on, but the company that made that game and and. Um, you like it, you were exactly saying it's like you kind of never know where it's going to lead, and you never know who's going to see your work, yeah. and and uh, what you know that will lead to. Right. Uh, so many stories I've heard, so many stories of people that have, you know they'll put a, a short story online, and it'll be you know you know you know Peter Jackson will see it or something, wow. you know that wow. kind of thing. Just yeah. an example, yeah. just like. Yeah. They'll see it and be like, "Okay, I want that guy." You know. <laughs> so there's, it, you really never know. You put it online, anyone can see yeah. it. Yeah. So, so when you found out that you were going to be working for this uh, amazing company, that Peter Jackson's at the helm. You know, he's just he's the <laughs> ultimate on so many different ways. Yeah. How did uh, how was that feeling? What was that feeling like for you? You know, it was initially. Initially, it was, uh, I, I mean, I'll be honest. It was, it was my mom that found the, the wanted ad. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh. She, she forwards it to me <laughs> yeah. and I go, oh, you know, whatever. I won't get in. Yeah. It's I, Peter Jackson. Is, I'll, I'll, I, yeah, well, yeah. Well, it's just like, oh, I'll just, I'll flick it off, see what happens. And it was, you know, uh, a few weeks later or something I, I hear back and it's like, Hey, we, you know, they want you to, you know, they want me. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wow. I'm like, okay, well, and, and so they go through and they say, oh, you know, um, we want to bring you on, uh, on a, uh, on a temporary contract. Um, they had kind of a, um, I don't know what the term is like kind of a review or, or yeah, a, a yeah, trial a basis. Trial basis. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I was kind of brought on, on trial for, uh, like a few months and, and basically they said, you know, two or, you know, two or three people don't make it through the trial. Like right. they, they bring on a, a bunch of people and, and, you know, they do have to just drop some people. Um, and so I went in going, Oh, you know, uh, this, I, I'm more of a games guy. So I, you know, if I, I'm not too worried about this, I'll just go right. in and do my best. And you know, if, if, if this happens, it happens. Yeah. Um, uh, and then just one thing led to another. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually, I just you know, yeah, uh, uh, I stayed there and kept getting contract renewals, yeah. and, and um, yeah, yeah, it was really fun. It was, it, it, and it was one of those things where I did, I really felt like I found uh, the the passion in the okay. job okay. more so than because it was, it was. I had always been a games guy, and I always right. loved games. But when yeah. um, I went to Weta, and it's like, okay, here's what we're doing here. You know, it's like, oh, this is actually really cool. This ah, is like, I would, you know, yeah. I, I, you know, it, it got me excited. There were things at that job that I was like, oh, this is, 
almost as exciting as games, you right, know, like right. like the stuff that I was doing right. there. Now, do you, um, now, are you involved from um, the pre-production stages, the development stages, or is it just during production and post-production that you're most involved? Um, I want, yeah, I won't go into the specifics, but I guess it's, um, I guess yes to all, to all <laughs> okay. of those. Well, okay. basically, the department I'm in is very broad. We right. we touch the earliest post production to, you know, or, or, sorry, earliest pre production to okay. to late post production. Wow. marketing even after wow. the film is done. Okay, so so, so it's involved throughout the entire thing, then from from development throughout throughout post and marketing. Yes. Okay. I, okay. I I yes. When I started on Alita, it was very early. Wow. And, and uh. Yeah, I know. I know the department that I was in worked on it until the very end. Wow. So, how many years uh, was Alita? Uh, how many years you, were you involved with Alita? A couple years. Gosh, um, I essentially came back because uh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. They, they all run, I about. guess they all run together when you. After they you they do. They do. Well, I, yeah. I'm trying to think because I um, I had just come back from Canada for from uh, Planet of the Apes. Okay. Okay. And I I think pretty much. It, you know, maybe the month I got back, yeah, they showed me some of the early stuff from Alita. It's like, right. hey, here's the next thing you're going on to. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah. I, I, you've seen the film, right? Yes. The, yeah, you, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, um, they showed me the um, the underworld, the underground fight. Oh wow. Um, okay. So and that... uh, I was I was pretty excited. I was like, that's <laughs> this looks pretty pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it was. Um, uh, it, it's one of those films that I, I have I have told people. Watch this on the biggest screen possible, yeah, and yeah. watch it in 3D, and watch yeah. it if you have IMAX. Do all of that, and and I don't do that for every film, but this is just one of those that visually, you just got to really get immersed in it, and also something that's got great sound because this this film blew me away on all of those fronts. Yeah, no, for sure. Um, yeah. So yeah, so, so that was uh, gosh, what was that? I guess. 2015, wow, 2016, wow. something yeah. like that. I can't remember yeah. exactly when I got back from Canada, but it was right. very early, yeah. <laughs> very yeah. early. So, um, so you've got, and, and also uh, the uh, Infinity War, is that right? You worked on the Avengers Infinity War as well. I did, right? I did a little bit, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, there's, and, and, and you know, we talk about how these, these projects kind of all run into each other after a while, and you mm. forget what year it is, and you forget exactly what was happening and, and what you did, but are there certain experiences on certain films? Cause you've traveled all over um, mm. to do these things, but are there certain experiences that you look back and go, wow, I'm really glad I got a chance to work on that film. And, and this is what I learned from that. Uh, are yeah. there some of those that you can touch on? You know, the war for the planet of the apes was probably, I think is still my favorite film that I worked on. Um, uh, at the time, it was definitely not. But it was looking back. I'm like, I'm glad it was. Like, it was. It was very hard. It was very long hours. It was um, some of the most intense, both physically uh, uh, and mentally, um, times in my career. And it was. It was. Uh, I, I tell people the story of just like, you know, there were. It, it, it's. It was so bizarre to go from a, uh, an office in New Zealand, you know, Wellington, yeah. very temperate temperature, like, you know, temperate climate. There, there, it doesn't get very cold here yeah. um, to fly over to Canada and basically do the exact same job. But uh, on top of a mountain um, at wow. midnight um, <laughs> in like a, in a tent that's about to blow over, uh, at, you know, 16 degrees below. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, it, like, you know, it was so it was surreal. And, right. and at the time yeah. I was like, this this kind of sucks. But yeah. then looking back, I'm like, that was kind of cool. Yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, those kind of experiences. are Absolutely. Um, yeah. Yeah. So so what can you share about your work? Um, I, I know that there are certain things you can and can't say, but yeah. there are certain things you no, can no. share about what you work, what, what you do, what it is that you do uh, or have done for Weta. So it's uh, been mainly kind of, you know, um, 3D modeling, 3D texturing, uh, that, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, going, going back to your video game experiences. So, yeah. Exactly. Your, exactly. I, I somehow I found the one department at, at Weta that is that is uh, probably the closest you can get to being uh, a video game, yeah. <laughs> like yeah. being a video game. Um, we, we do a lot of real time stuff. Uh, uh, I don't know if you've, if you've uh, caught up with any of the, um, uh, the, um, 
the marketing material for Alita. Right. They, they're doing a lot of um, stuff from the motion capture stage. So I worked a lot yep. with kind of mo motion capture. Yeah. Um, there, there's a lot of real time rendering of things right. in mocap that, that has to happen now. And that's, that's kind of the department I'm in just kind of doing that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, that but, they, uh, uh, actually yeah. during the the screening of Alita that I showed uh, that I that I watched right after that they had like a seven minute featurette and it, yeah. it went behind the scenes and explored some of that motion capture and um, you know recreating the, um, the the live faces and trying to figure out how to make Alita look real while she also looks as if she's from a video game or or even um, you know the, the manga. So it was it was really fascinating, and that uh, you know always when I get a chance I look at the behind the scenes making of because uh, yeah. for for film lovers uh, and for mm -hmm. those that want to immerse themselves in it that's a way to do it if you're not there on the set that's the closest many people can get. Yeah, yeah, for sure, and and technology is advancing at such a rate, and things are changing at such a rate. It is really this behind the scenes featurettes are probably the only way people really can take in that stuff because it's you know. It is almost changing movie right. to movie. There's right. a new technology that's coming out that's like, this is a game changer, you know? Yeah. And it's, uh, if you're not in the industry, if you're not actually, like you said, on set, it's right. kind of hard right. to know when these things are happening. So so you've, um, been, you've been there for five, six years, I guess, um, working with Weta. Um, yeah, so I'd been there for five years. Okay, yeah. so, and, uh, you know, it, it amazes me that, you know, that Cameron's got his own, you know, beauty spot as far as being able to create things, but he works so well with Peter Jackson. And is that something that you feel is kind of going to continue because of their relationship and what they're able to put together on film? You mean in terms of Cameron's, uh, uh, Cameron using Weta for yes. special effects? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I think so. I think so. I feel, I, you know, I checked, I checked Weta's, um, Weta's, uh, website that that's kind of our, our, uh, our, um, our gold standard for what we can talk about right. in terms of what, what is working on. If exactly. it's on their public website, then we can say, Oh yes, right. they are working on that. And I think right. they have the avatar sequels up yeah. there. Yeah. Well, that's, so that's, that, keep, you know, yeah. Keep you busy for a while. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I can't remember how many he's making, but yes. It's, um, so, so what are some of the things that uh, you truly enjoy uh, about, about this work and about, Exploring new technologies, as you say, almost every you know every day there's something new that could possibly come out and and change what you do. Yeah, for sure. Well, it, it's 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 cool though because it's um, those technological kind of advances. It's it's amazing to see them happening uh, at Weta. You know, to see a bunch of guys you know get together and and almost be a part of that and and go here's what we're going to do, you know, you know, as it's just a hypothetical, you know, here's what we're going to do for right. this kind of movie. We're going to do this special thing with the face. We're, yeah. we're going to, we're going to, you know, do a new type of, of facial capture or something right. like that. Right. Um, yeah. And, and to see those, those things happen, you know, see my, you know, my friends yeah. doing this, yeah. you know, people I yeah. know are yeah. doing this. Yeah. Um, we just had a, uh, 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 the VS VS awards. Right. Um, and, right. and to see people I know to be, see people that are like, yeah. you know, are, it's, it's, it's so cool to see, you know, that kind of thing where, where it, it's literally the people around me are, are, right. are shaping these amazing technologies. Right. Um, well, and, and you're uh, working on films that are receiving Oscars in the very, yeah, very yeah. categories that you're working. Yeah. On. Yeah. That was, I remember specifically, um, that was probably the most surreal thing. It was, it was, um, uh, I remember working on the Hobbit films. It was, yeah. I think it was Hobbit three. I think it was the third Hobbit film. You know, it was, it was hours and hours. I, I did a, uh, I think the most I've done in a, in a week is I think a 110 hour week. Um, oh, man, that was it, 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 like hours like that. You, you just, you get fried. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. you really are just kind of a zombie. <laughs> um, and it was, it was just weeks and weeks and weeks of that. Um, and then it, it ended around December. I think we finished working on it sometime around December. And it was, uh, I went overseas. I went to the U.S. and visited family. And it was this surreal kind of thing going to L.A. and and seeing, you know, they had set up some kind of Hobbit, uh, uh, I'm not sure the term, like some kind of marketing thing, some right. kind of like they yeah. built part of the set of one of the Hobbit okay. films, yeah. uh, you know, uh, uh, at one of the theaters. I think it was, it was the kind of the famous theater in, in Hollywood. And it was, um, it was bizarre to 
step out of the dark, you know, t- step out of this dark uh, uh, office that I'd been working in for months at a time doing these yeah, crazy hours yeah. to like go overseas, go thousands of miles away and see, oh, wow, this is actually <laughs> a film. You yeah. know, this is something that, oh, this is more than just a little thing on my computer screen. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's yeah. all it is when you're working on it. It's, it, wow. I feel like people might have this like grandiose idea of like, oh, you know, you're crafting this beautiful piece of cinema uh, like this you know like we're shaping it with our hands it's it's like you know it's it really is all on a computer screen and you're just you're, you're moving things around on a computer yeah. screen yeah it's all just there in this little box and then you go outside and you go overseas and you're like oh wow and then you see you know big billboards for right. it big things and people yeah. are excited for it and you're like wow yeah uh, well let, let's go to that it, let's go to that end of things you know you, you you mentioned the aspect of working kind of behind the scenes and doing the looking at it on these small, I mean, monitors and screens. But then when you go and see it yeah. on like an IMAX screen and see your work there, what is that like for you? Yeah, no, that's cool. That was um most recent example. Uh, I, I saw Mortal Engines um, yeah. and the, the opening of that film. I think, I think the uh, strongest part of that film, I think, is, is the opening like 10 minutes. Um, that was awesome. Yeah. That was, I, I thought that was great. Um, yeah. Yeah, uh, it really, it really is cool. It's, it's, and it's nice too, because, um, you know, editing is happening all the time, right? Like the editing of the film is happening all right. the time, of course. And so it's, it's always, it's, it's kind of almost a nice surprise because we're so, so used to the film as we work on it. And then right. you go see it in the right. film and you're like, right. Oh, they, they actually edited it. Yeah. Oh, this actually works <laughs> a lot better than what I saw yeah. while I was working yeah. on it. Yeah. And, and you're like, Oh, that's cool. That's it. That's, that's, it's always a surprise. Like it's, it's, yeah. it's fun to, it, you know, cause you are, very used to the film after you know seeing it so many right. times but then going to the cinema it is a different thing and you see right. the the final edit and you're like oh yeah. that, that was actually cool yeah, yeah. And, and also you know when, you, when you're working on it you're seeing it in these small chunks for for so yeah. long over and over yeah. and over and over again exactly and, exactly and I've, I've often said that the really the unsung heroes many times are the editors to be able to yeah. take all of these different pieces of the puzzle and find a way to bring these pieces into something that's coherent uh, exactly. and, and something that is coherent and cohesive and you and the audiences will look at it and go, oh, there's, there's yeah, yeah. fluidity there. There's fluidity there. Exactly. And, 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 you know, especially like you're saying, watching it over and over again. I mean, they must know um, exactly what, you know, what's going on in the film and right. for them to portray that in a way, you know, yeah. it, it, I, I, I understand like how hard that would be. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, cause you do get used to something right. seeing it over and over again. You're like, Oh, it's assumed that they know that this thing is here. Right. Right. Um, but then they have to be like, Oh no, wait, the audience won't know that. So we really have to edit it. We really <laughs> right. have to show this in a way. Right. And then it's, it is an art in of itself. Yeah. Everything in and of itself is an art <laughs> at every stage. Exactly. Um, yeah. 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 And it does take, it takes the team. I mean, it, it takes the it, entire team. Yeah. And that's why I've always encouraged people hang around through the credits, you know, <laughs> yeah. all these amounts of the people that it took, don't just look at who directed it and look who starred in it, but look at all the other names because everybody has an equal part in making this happen. And yeah, I mean, you say equal or not, but I mean, everybody has a part in making this happen. And yeah, Absolutely. You know, one person's out of the picture. Somebody else has got to fill that slot. And so, yeah, yeah stay for the credits. Stay for the credits. <laughs> yeah, well, the Marvel films are making that a little easier. That's, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, um, I, I appreciate you taking the time, and I, I don't want to take yeah, yeah, tons no, yeah. of your time. But um, are, are there other other things that you want to make sure you got a chance to share with uh, with our audience and uh, or with students who may be out there wanting to pursue something like what you've done? Yeah, um, you know. I, if there was one thing I had to get across is that, um, it's not easy. (laughs) Like it's, it's like, I I don't want to paint, uh, this perfect picture of, of, um, you know, Oh, it's, you know, like I was saying 110 hour weeks. I mean, that was, that was granted that was a a long time ago and things have changed. So it's definitely better now. I'm not doing those hours (laughs) now. Um, and I don't think anyone is, um, hopefully, hopefully, um, but uh, that's the kind of stuff that you'll you'll you know have to put up with. You really right. really you really have to love what you do. Right. <laughs> you really right. have to love it because if you don't, it's going to be really hard. Yeah. Because um, yeah. you yeah. there will be people, there will be projects, there will be things that you don't want to do, and um, you have to do them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's not it's it's just not it's not all roses and yeah. stuff. Yeah, it's it's, uh, it's not the Hollywood red carpet 
that most people yeah, see. Exactly. It's not the world yeah, premiere. Yeah. There's it's a, it <laughs> like I said, it's a dark room and you're in front of a computer and there's right. uh, a list of a hundred notes from the director that you have to do in an hour. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to figure out which ones are more important and you yeah. that that kind of stuff. Uh, like it's it's uh yeah. yeah, not 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 all uh, roses, but I will say that the the, the highs yeah. definitely are are because of the lows. The highs are even higher. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. So, yeah, like yeah. It, it is fun, but yeah, just keep an, keep yeah. a realistic yeah. <laughs> eye on it. You know, exactly. don't 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 try to don't be rose tinted about it. Well, and I think it's it's that way with anything that you that you find yeah. you love. I mean, whatever no, your work sure. ends up being, it, it's gonna you're gonna have good days and bad days. Um, Absolutely. Well, Absolutely. let's talk quickly about Andy Circus. You, you, you've you been a chance to <laughs> see this guy in action. And yeah. he is yeah. just, to me, just it's amazing what he's done for the motion capture acting. And, yes. and, and I, I've continued to say for years um, that there needs to be an Oscar for that because there, there is a performance in that as well. Um, yeah. That, that um, you know, there's real facial expressions. There are, you know, the physical aspects of what you have to do to relay that. That's not all done on the computer. You've got to have an actor that makes that happen too. Absolutely. Um, uh, another another uh, actor, um, Terry Notary. Um, he, uh, watching him, yeah, specifically him, yeah. his body acting, his physical acting. Right. Terry is right. is uh, amazing. How yeah. how he, how much he embodies apes like he uh, it, it, blo it blows me away you, you, you just watch it and he's like he has the mannerisms like yeah. he's just studied it I, I don't know how he does yeah. it, honestly yeah i really don't um and it's, it's just incredible uh so so to have watched that happen and, and to yeah. see that and and you know even without the computer you, you realize this guy's got some talent yeah for sure yeah. no they, they both do and yeah. it's it's um it is pretty mind blowing. But I mean, it's funny cause you know, you talk about, you know, um, mocap acting, but at the end of the day, it, it is, it is just acting it, right, it's, itself, right, you know, and, right, and Andy right. circus is just a really good actor, yeah, you know? Yeah. Um, except he's got it just, it just happens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He's just got a ton of white dots that then translate it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, and I, I mean, that's, that's, you know, rigs yeah, all around him as well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He's covered in, you know, thousands of dollars of equipment, but <laughs> yeah. you know, at the end of the day, he's an actor and it's just cameras, you know, capturing it yeah. and then putting it onto something digital. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I guess that's how it's going to be in the future. I mean, looking at, you know, Rosa, uh, Rosa Salazar and, right. and, and Alita and stuff right. like that. It's just, it's, you know, she's just acting and right. then they just kind of transition it over. Yeah. Um, yeah she, I, at the, the interview with her, she was talking about having to get over that hurdle of realizing, okay, I've got this on my back. I've got this yeah, here. Yeah. And then, okay, I've just got to act and yeah, perform. Yeah. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty impressive. Very incredibly impressive. So, Maybe that's the thing. Maybe they're really good at ignoring yeah, yeah. The, the cameras on them. Yeah, yeah. You know, maybe that's what makes you a good mocap actor. Yeah. So uh, when you get a chance to go out and watch movies on your own just for the enjoyment factor, what are the things that you're drawn to? In terms of films that I, I personally like? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, what you enjoy. Uh, you, know, <laughs> um, I, you know, honestly, I'm, I'm much more of a smaller kind of indie film yeah. kind of guy. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah. Not so much the big blocks. Right. I like, the, you know, like I like popcorn flicks. You yeah. know, I, 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 I did enjoy Mortal Engines, you know, um, like th that kind of stuff. I, I, I like the big films, right. um, but uh, I, I really like the, uh, the smaller. I, I'm, I'm really uh, drawn to visuals, like um, visual storytelling. Okay. Okay. Um, from a cinematography like, uh, standpoint? like from Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Cinematography, lighting, yeah. color, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, uh Things like a uh, recent example, like uh, Mandy. Have you seen Have you seen Mandy? Wow, the Nicolas Cage film. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very different kind of film, but I, I see what yes. you're talking about from a visual standpoint. Yeah, that kind yeah. of stuff. That that yeah. was like one of the most recent films that really stood out yeah. to me. That was it's it's yeah. really cool. Um, th those are usually the kind of films I look out for. Okay. Um, I like horror. Yeah. Um, huge fan of Carpenter. Like, yeah. Um, huge fan of like Ken Lauder and stuff like gotcha. that. So. So. Um, if, uh, if there are folks out there uh, looking for trying to discover more about this kind of work, are there any go-to books or go-to websites or magazines that you recommend uh, for people to just kind of follow what's happening in the industry? You know, in terms of books, I'm not actually sure. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. Um, 
just go to the web, I mean, web website and just see what they're doing, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, I mean, that's that's my go-to. Is like, oh, I wonder what is working out that you <laughs> type that in. And they, um, no, I honestly, I I'm not I'm not actually sure yeah, yeah. in terms of, of films, uh, uh, in terms of books and stuff gotcha, like that. Um, gotcha. I'm mainly more just websites. Right. Um, Any websites that you're drawn to? Um, like Screen Rant, I think is okay. is a good one that yeah. that usually comes up, and that they have some pretty good stuff. Um, yeah. Okay. Awesome. You got anything else you want to share with our audience before we uh, wrap things up and let you go hang out uh, with with uh, cool things in New Zealand? <laughs> well, actually, I'm about to go to um, uh, the uh, the screening of Alita. Okay, <laughs> so, very cool. Uh, so I haven't I haven't actually seen it on the cinema yet. Yeah, so, um, yeah. Okay. But uh, no, no, I no, I think I think we pretty much covered everything. Yeah. All right, Just, Trey, um, Trey Brown, our guest right here on uh, Cinema Scene. Uh, meet me at the movies. We appreciate him. Uh, Trey's uh, spending some time with us from New Zealand. And uh, Trey, always good to see you, man. Don't see you enough. Yeah. And uh, yeah, yeah. really appreciate you, appreciate your work. And I love seeing your name in the credits. And man, every every time I'm uh, seeing that, I'm always letting your mom know and your dad, <laughs> hey, it's all Trey's name. Uh, I've got to break out yeah. my phone next time when the credits roll and just get some shots of it. But uh, <laughs> continue uh, continue to, to do what you do and do it well. Real proud of you. And, uh, and awesome. thanks for your time, thank man. You. Yeah, no, no. Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, good. Always, you can always email us at info at c19.tv or info at wgwg.org, and uh, we'll respond to that. And uh, Trey Brown, uh, check him out on IMDb. You can find out uh, some of the cool things he's worked on. I think he said he's going to update that in the not too distant future because yep. Alita's not on there. But uh, No, no. I was waiting for that to come out before <laughs> yeah. I put Alita. I don't uh, like to put my credits up before the films are. <laughs> well, uh, as always, thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, that is a wrap. Hey, Trey, thanks, buddy. Really appreciate it. Yeah, man. all good. This was all awesome, good. man. Have fun. Enjoy Alita. And, uh, yeah, I saw yeah, yeah. A, uh, an early critic screen.